Hello viewers, me and team here. Welcome back to Let's Play Civ 4. In the last part, we got a pretty good dent in Augustus Caesar. So we're going to continue the damage in this part and um, weigh our options between capitulation versus other um, attacks. So, or, or weigh, our, weigh between capitulation and completely annihilating him is what we'll be weighing our options. Oh, that's right. I was going to assign a superhero... You are my best candidate. You already unlocked her epic, if my medic didn't previously. But we're gonna make this more fun. Leadership, yes. That's good. Yeah, this will slightly improve his survival rate. Whatever, we'll take it. And otherwise, just take whatever and truck along. I think I want to take another two longbows here. Maybe help garrison the city. Maybe. But otherwise, just move. Can I cottage my land finally? That'd be nice. Actually, things aren't looking too bad. I've had a lot of mistakes in this game. And a lot of just sheer bad luck in this game. But even between with all that... Um, we are progressing through Caesar's land, uh, reasonably, reasonably, definitely moving along with progress, and I checked out the demographics, and I'm third in land area without some of the captured cities coming out of revolt, so, um, once I take him down, I'll probably be, uh, in the running for number one, or number one, and any time you can do that, you are in good shape, these Praetorians are getting old. He's teching machinery, so yeah, he'll be getting maces after that. Can't say I'm looking forward to maces. In fact, I'm looking forward to them even less than fighting additional Praetorians. <laughs> but once I'm uh, holed up in a city, Longbows will take care of them. And honestly, they're not that much better at defending than the AI Longbows, which already exist. So... It's a, uh, it's a bit of a wash, actually. I just have to be more careful in the field where I position my stack. But even there, whatever. It's not a, not a huge deal. Of course, all my catapults are left behind, and he has horse archers, so I you know, can't really escort them easily without additional units. I have been building a lot of catapults to make up for the ones I've lost. But maybe I should uh, invest in you know, a couple longbows or a sword or something, a couple swords, and escort using them. And yep, sure enough, there's his catapult stack. I have some fortification bonus, longbows. It's no less painful for him than me to hit longbows fortified in cities. And uh, that's pretty much how it turned out. He didn't successfully take this city. Whoa, what are you doing? Do not fortify, you are bombarding. It'll take a few turns, but we will get there. Yeah, you don't like that, do you? No. You dislike that. Oh, what the heck. I'm going to bring these catapults up here. I don't think he's going to run his horse archers out and around effectively. Oh, he's gotten more. Um, I could conceivably lose this city. Maybe I can uh, bait him to not attacking the city. That usually doesn't work. Once in a while, they'll do something stupid when given the opportunity to attack a largely defenseless unit instead of a largeless defenseless, largely defenseless city. It really just depends on luck. And, you know, I've been having such great luck this game that I feel like I should just continue to depend on luck and get what I want as a result. Is this really the only city stall and settled? I mean, maybe the barbed galleys are giving him hell. <sighs> Catapult with wood jars successfully. Ooh, bit of a misplay there. AI chose not to attack, and I have now healed up with these longbows. Well, a bit of an AI misplay, I should say. I didn't misplay that. I'm ha I'm just happy with what happened. Okay. Um, sword. Uh, I'm feeling pretty confident on my flanks, actually. Yeah, he did attack my catapult. 
Okay, we'll just duck into the city then. And we are starting to get ready to crush Rome. I think it's time to invest in libraries. Whip. More unhappiness. You people are ingrates. I tell you what, we're winning a war and you're just, you can't be happy about it. <laughs> I have a lot of war weariness actually, and actually not that much. In fact, let's have a look at how we are doing so far. I bet I'm not doing too well in the kills deaths. Let's see. 22, 9, so 31, 39, 46, and 52. Warriors are barbarians mostly, so uh, 57. About 60 military units. Oh, actually, I'm I am doing pretty well. <laughs> How about that? That's surprising to me. It certainly does not feel like it. <laughs> Thank God this is not on a hill. Lead off with a barrage catapult. Um, actually, not a lot that will defend well if I can hit that longbow with a bit more collateral or direct damage. Come on, just hit the longbow. Is everything else going to be swept by axes? Oh, okay. That works for me. I have enough guys that are functionally defenders, yeah, so I can take a city raider on a couple of them. Yeah, see? At least positive odds now against the remaining defenders. Oop, we have horses now, so I can switch over to swords. Including Superman sword. And, um, just go to town. Yeah, I guess that's why my KD is actually pretty good. Imagine that. And Rome has fallen. Not burning, though. We're not burning it. Just taking it. Ugh. I shift clicked it. No. No. What? <sighs> Me and team, the interface is fine. Really? Is that so? Is that so? Well, what can you do? If I could program, maybe I'd fix it if they'd pay me. But I'm pretty sure that's not the way it works. They don't reward good behavior or we would have a working user interface. Alright then. But amazingly, in, some, in a sense, this is still a pretty fun game to play. <laughs> I just wish the controls worked. That's all. That's all I ask. And can I get away from this? I don't know if I can get away. Oh, horse archers. Hello. One of my favorite units, but not when the opponent has them. <laughs> and yeah, I like completely healed up, so they, they screwed the pooch there. Works for me. Still won't capitulate, which is fine by me. I don't want to let you capitulate. Ouch. I just got all my catapults flanked. That is uh, the opposite of pleasant. Yeah, spears would have been a good investment. I didn't feel like I needed them since he didn't have horseback riding at first, and uh, now I sort of forget that. And oh crap, horse archer near the ca capital. Um, let's not give him a chance for luck. Let's just not. <laughs> he can't possibly kill two guys with one unit in one turn, so there we go. That's just... That's all I'm going to do there. A lot of these cities are pretty well developed already. If a little lacking in culture income. Well, I am getting culture. Oh, it's because I captured Stonehenge, isn't it? Yeah! I got something out of this deal. Oh, he's got two cities? Oh, this one's more recent. Lost 
another worker to something random. Not that it's hugely critical, but it's annoying to these workers. Let's see what happened. Oh, I see. He used the roads. Run away! Whoa, 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 whoa. And where do you think you're going, horse archer? Fun has just begun. <sighs> it's almost not worth my time to micro my workers anymore. The only thing keeping me microing my workers is they don't suicide. It's a pain. I think after one turn, a lot of these guys will have healed completely, yes. That's what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna fortify them until the war is over. I don't wanna take chances with my men. Reinforce. Fine, some of them come automate. Up to 1.3 times the strength. See, I'm gradually gaining on him. He's actually willing to give me civil service in a peace deal. <laughs> That's... Wow. Yeah, there you go. Put that catapult in there. Oh, hey, maces. Um... Actually, I only need to punch through a good defender, too. Those horse archers do not constitute good defenders. And of course, I'm not going to easily punch through good defenders, am I? No. Oh, maybe I am. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm gonna play with Risk. Yay! Risk successful. And now we get to sweep the city. Um. Humiliation with an archer! And City Garrison 2. Excellent. With any luck we can even get there before he gets two crossbows. In fact, he's probably willing to capitulate soon. Yeah, probably after the next city. You'll notice that his researching for uh, crossbows is also just plummeted. Losing cities will do that to you. Okay, running out of things to build. Which means I should probably turn my slider up soon. Now that I'm getting the library infrastructure set. Just a couple more cities and I'll do just that. And this can be kind of fun. Um, once you get a vassal start directing their research and researching things they don't have and you can trade and then trade again you like double trade vassals can be very fun oh geez got some shenanigans horse archers and chariots trying to do a run by not quite sure where they are trying to go and I guess just stay there for now. I just need Antium. And I think this war will end. Alright. So they didn't want to take the uh, hill sword on. They're going to go here. Cannibal, chariot, chariot. Shoot. Um... Just do that. Fortunately, these guys got their cottage done in time. I suppose it doesn't really matter which of those tiles I go. These horse archers can threaten Ravenna more easily than the other cities. Oh, that's right, I'm getting culture because of the Stonehenge. He's down to four. 
So one, two, three, four. These are the only four he has left. What? What did, what did this just happen? Oh, he attacked here. Wow, without much success, I might add. Okay then. Set up shop on the hill. And just more libraries. We're going to have a fun time suddenly tacking because I am very far behind and I have stockpiled way more gold because this war took longer than I thought. What? Oh, he attacked me on the hill. Screw you too. Um. Wow. Could probably use a turn of healing. Is he any more mounted? No, I think I removed his access to it. Alright, after the Jewish temple. Library. After the aqueduct, you are building a settler. I'm gonna run up there. <laughs> Poor Stalin gets it. I'm surprised he doesn't already have it. If only I could get my hands on those workers. Actually, I probably can. Okay. Um, leftover barrage guys first. So you did no damage to the top defender, which is fine. You definitely hear the top defender. There we go. Good enough. For certain good enough. What? Still no capitulation. What part of doing- like, how are you doing fine on your own? Dude. I took all your core cities. You've got nothing left. Well, okay. The war continues. Looks like I'm getting a couple workers next turn. Where do they go? Did he delete them? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Well, I captured one. I'm shocked. I'm shocked he's not given up here. This is really bad. Alright, time to put the slider up. We're going to take some tech. <sighs> I don't know that he's going to have a lot of trade value. Oh, nope. Stalin captured that. Could just kill him. Might do that. Might just do that. Huh. Certainly net us a lot of decently quality land. And I'm gonna lose another worker. Sorry, I just captured some. Bureaucracy is expanding to meet the needs of the expanding bureaucracy. I'm organized, so that would be nice to have. Um, then after that, I'm really... I wonder how easily I can make it there. Not so much. But I could make it elsewhere more easily. We'll do this. Can probably get some stuff out of Stalin for it. Run for it. 
No, definitely no bureaucracy <laughs> at this point. Um, Vassalage is probably a better econ economic civic because I have so many units. Or enough units to merit that. To bring about the rule of righteousness Two catapults and nothing else. Really? Let's uh, just drop a couple longbows and go. Oh, jeez. That's why. Can we take better pathing, please? Courthouses for all. Still teching for engineering. Nice. Getting some relatively cheapish courthouses. The only uh, decent thing that's been going on for me for uh, economy. I cannot live and wow, did I just lose crap to like a chariot? Holy crap. Of course it was horse archer damaging my stuff. <sighs> well, what's multi-threat? Hee <laughs> hee. Is that I have been working cottages this whole time, so the cottages have grown. And I am getting some benefit from that being the case. Wow. I'm not sure I can uh, muscle through this. Wow, Lib went late. I guess because I'm ruining the world here. <laughs> That's the best explanation for why Lib would go late. You just blast the tech in the world and it goes. heck where's this coming from he has like no cities left like this city should not be able to produce these kinds of numbers fortunately we have barrage and this is not a hill city so this is uh really the best i'm gonna get Oop. unfortunately i don't have barrage anymore You can suck on some collateral. Still gonna chew through all of his defenses. With some difficulty, but we'll get through it. Yeah. Done and done. <laughs> Yeah, now you'll capitulate. Now that you're down to two frickin' cities. What, what would I want with you with two frickin' cities? Get out of your mind. And he probably is. We're just taking it all. We're gonna kill him. I don't want to deal with the hassle of diplomacy with uh, people hating your vassal. Yay! Leadership! Withdrawal! Okay. Well, now that I have this shored up, I can bring an extra garrison help to be an offensive threat. <laughs> Spear would be useful. Very useful. Spears would have been useful this whole frickin' war. 
I don't understand why I got that city, but I'm taking it. It's mine now. Yeah, he had to wait until I'd completely crushed him before he's willing to even consider capitulation? I don't think so. We're just gonna die now. <coughs> wow, an auto worker died. Well, it's back to the usual. That should be sufficient healing. Yeah, leave a long, uh, longbow and a spear. We don't need much else. Oh, since you're about to starve for some reason. Man, is my war weariness that bad? Yeah, my war weariness is god awful. This war is taking like aeons longer than it should. I mean, I usually have these wrapped up like forever ago. Oh, whatever, at least Stalin isn't super far ahead. <laughs> and I have more cities than Stalin has. I am number one in land, okay. That's actually encouraging. That means there's no super AI out there. It's just ready to hose me completely. There's no wealth like knowledge. No power. Mines there. And we're just gonna start on universities everywhere. I think we might have stone. Nope, just marble. Whatever. And he's going to, yeah, he settled right there. I don't know, it might be worth my while to get it. Might not be. And them that take the sword, they'll perish. Oh, sure, now he gets education instantly. Well. Okay. Um, printing press demo, since we've already lost the liberalism race. Yeah, that horse archer is never coming out alive. You realize that AI, right? Mace took good damage. <laughs> yeah, once the swords get some promotions, they start doing pretty well. I lost like a lesser sword, but my greater swords dominated that just now. And we get to another city. You down to your last city? You are. You're willing to give me everything now, but that everything isn't worth it. You outlived your usefulness, Augustus. You were just a little bit too stupid. And you know what? You're not going to bribe a peace vassal deal either. No, you are not. <laughs> You're just going to give me your land and shut up. These can opener J generals are funny. Not terribly effective, but funny. Well, they can be effective. Yep, just work on infrastructure now and democracy. Those are the things we really want. I mean, I have longbows. Unless somebody gets to, like, rifles and hits me hard with rifles during a small window, you're actually pretty safe with this, just because you have a lot of defenses. Interestingly, Stalin has not felt the need to go to war ever during this entire transaction. I guess because he's pleased with me. He has more cities now than he just a moment ago. Oh yeah, but I'm still easily cleaning up here. Alright then. Hello, Hattie. You are Stalin's worst enemy. I have no interest in trading with you then. I'll just brute force research past you over time. Ooh, okay. 
Got him. Couple great general hits, and one last blow to end the match with Augustus. Wasn't a fun war, was not a pretty war. A lot of things went wrong, including a late start on the war itself. But we got it done. And now we are leading the world in land and population. Significantly. And 25% is pretty good, actually. So all told, with all that unhappiness lifted, I'd say we're doing okay. Just go protect the capital now. And all right. Yep. Now we cottage. Yes, we do. Forge. This is going to take a little while. But as long as nobody gets too close to culture too quickly, I can uh, intercept any culture play as well. And uh, should be taking care of the match. So, yeah, I guess there was some challenge to it. I don't think this is the reason the original posters uh, thought the game was challenging was Barbarian Hack followed by other hacks over and over and over again, losing at bad odds early in the game to create a little bit of a delay. But oh well. Yeah, had good players can start and end rifle wars long before now. Like, I saw Rustin get rifles at like 700 AD before. It's just crazy. I actually did play a deity game recently, and it's one of the ones that Absolute Zero played to a domination win. I just won culture. I really hate the micro on deity, so I just abused the AI diplomacy and built like six cities and did the uh, culture bulbing strategy. What gunpowder did for war, the printing press has done for the mine. Yeah, okay. Let's uh, speed things along a little bit. I think banks would be useful to my cause. People of the same trade. Which means I need to get through guilds to reach it. Conversation conversation ends in a and yeah, for those of you watching low res, I'm at 406 speakers to turn now. So I'm not doing hot there, but you're going to see it spike as the cottages grow and I get actual infrastructure in my cities instead of just chopping out a bunch of stuff. And that's the other thing. If you want to have faster war, you just get math sooner, chop sooner into the catapults and attack sooner. It's really simple. And it's a pretty simple approach to the game in general. And just store your trees for early math play and catapult rush somebody. And catapults are still good. I mean, they're, they've kind of fallen out of favor since Beyond the Sword. But, and vanilla people like catapults a lot. And as you can see, they still do their, their job. Especially if I had maces against the longbows. Or I attacked before he had longbows. Because he didn't have longbows for an eternity. And yeah, the other reason I kind of struggled was that I was attacking into Praetorians. And you are at war with Hattie, but you are not the worst enemy of Hattie. Instead, that distinction mysteriously goes to Stalin. Can I sneak something else in here? Ooh, I can. Oops. Banking establishments are more dangerous than standing armies. A man does not have himself you can not get bad at all. Not day. bad at all. Yeah, it's amazing how much you can catch up. None of them have the constitution either. And I'm now at 536 speakers a turn. And, you know, if I can get, even get close to tech parity with this much land, the, the, the land's just going to take over. And you can already see I have the high score of the civilizations that I've met. I don't even know about astronomy. I haven't even met any, but everybody yet. It doesn't matter. Banking and banks are very good uh, economic buildings. Underestimated by a lot. Um, they are the second most commerce efficient building in the game behind libraries. They are better than observatories and such. And that's obviously depending on your slider too, but they are excellent, excellent buildings. And yeah, I got auto workers. 
I don't know. I don't have a feeling like I want to take on Stalin just to grab that average land. I have a lot of excellent land. No free man I'm not really interested in representation. I will do the Golden Age now. That will give me the opportunity. Um, actually? Sure. We'll run it for a little while. <laughs> Just until it's time for democracy. Why not spike our beakers up to like almost 900? <laughs> of course, now I have minor happiness concerns, but that was going to become a big problem shortly anyway. Because I have every intention of switching over to universal suffrage, emancipation, and the works. You know what would probably help me, however? Is, uh, well, I could go free religion. No, I can't, because I don't have liberalism. Resource trades. Nope, they cannot trade. They are not connected to my trade network. That's amazing. <laughs> Maybe somebody out there has emancipation already? Doubtful, since, uh, whoa, what are you doing? Lighthouse, courthouse, forge, library. We'll build the rest later. Nice. We get democracy next turn. So much unhappiness. Yeah, taking out Rome eliminated any motherland happiness issues. Okay, so I won't lose much happiness in those cities other than the representation cities by switching. Can I get two free religion also? It has been said that democracy is the Probably. worst form of government. Probably. Except all the others that have been tried. Is it worth it to take a relations hit with Stalin to switch out? But I'll have better relations with everybody else. Sure, we'll do free religion. It's not like I have investments in any of the major wonders or anything as an alternative. And what's the Apostolic Palace in? Buddhism. Typical. Typical. Well, okay, we've done quite well. In the next part, we are going to do a couple more civic swapping and set up an economy, finally. So I will see you then. Thumbs up if you liked the video. The Mean Team signing off.